right, Mr. Weasley. Absolutely, Harry. St. Mungo's was an interesting experience. You know, a trainee healer there showed me some old muggle remedies. Did you know they use things called stitches to sew wounds back together? Fascinating. What really happened when you were attacked? It's very simple. I'd had a very long day, dozed off, got sneaked up on and bitten. Are you ready to go back to school? Yes, I'm ready to go. You should speak to Sirius. He's waiting for you in the tapestry room. If my mistress only knew the vermin infesting her house, it would break mistress's heart. My mother didn't have a heart. Now go away, creature. Whatever master wishes. Nasty brat. So, time to go back to Hogwarts. Seems like we're always saying goodbye. It won't always be this way. You're a good person, Harry. Harry! It's Hagrid! He's back! Hagrid, where have you been all this time? Oh, well, that's a bit complicated, you see. What's going on, Hagrid? I can't leave without telling someone about him. About who? I couldn't just leave him. See, he's my brother, Grop. Well, half-brother. Grop, meet your new friend, Hermione. <laughs> Hey, Harry, hadn't you better get to Snape's office? You've got your next occlumency lesson. Thanks for reminding me. All right, Harry. You'd better get to Snape's office. <gasps> what do you think the answer is? Can I look in your book? You'd better get to Snape's office. I hope they arrest Dumbledore. Protego! Umbra did his best. Come on, let's get to Snape's office. Patrificus Totalus! Chops and gravy. Mmm, yummy. Hello. Keep it up, Master Potter. Come on, we need to get to Arrow's place.
Haven't you better get to Snape's office? Wretched children. Incendio! Keep the noise down. Is there a secret passage behind your portrait? And what is that to you, boy? You are not Slytherin, so you cannot pass. Unless you have the password, of course. No, I don't. I thought not. Still, you could try asking some Slytherin students. I'm sure they'd be happy to help you. Seen and not heard, that's what children should be. I'm missing three cards. That's all. You got them. Haven't you better get to Snape's office? Wingardium Leviosa! Careful with those books, Harry. If you need to practice your charm, you can always have a successful gesture. We can go to this class later. You're late, Potter. Inside. What just happened then, Potter? I've just realized. What's in the Department of Mysteries? What? I'd forgotten I'd seen it. When I've been there for the hearing, I've been dreaming about it. Voldemort's been thinking about it. What's there that he wants? There are many things in the Department of Mysteries, Potter. Few of which you would understand, and none of which concern you. Do I make myself plain? But... This lesson is over. Hi, Harry. 
Everyone's waiting for you in the room of requirement. Okay. I think the DA is going really well. Everyone's making such good progress. We should go to the room. Hermione, have you noticed that Cho Chang's being funny around Harry? Still, she is a Tornadoes fan. She's probably mental. How was your occlumency lesson? It was all right. Reparo! <laughs> Umbridge fan. I'm glad this room is our secret. Every time you discover things, my file gets heavier. You don't know how lucky you are that portraits can't jinx. Every time you discover things, my file gets heavier. You don't know how lucky you are that portraits can't jinx.
aunt says you can produce a fully corporeal Patronus. Is that true? Yeah, it's a stag. Blimey, Harry! I never knew that! Why don't you teach us Expecto Patronum? Alright, but you'll need to think of a really happy memory to get a powerful Patronus. Now copy me. Expecto Patronum! Where did you find us? It doesn't matter! Run! Harry? What are you waiting for? <laughs> Run! <laughs> You're for it now, Potter! <laughs> Stupefy! Like Trinitas and Tarnas! Excellent, Draco! Excellent! Fifty points to Slytherin! I'll take him from here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Harry. I'm sorry. Well, the game is up. Would you like a written confession? Professor, no! Be quiet, Harry. I instructed Harry to form this organization, and I alone am responsible for its activities. But I'm afraid I have no intention of going quietly. 